everybody. How are you today? It's Sharon here from I Restore Stuff. Um, and I forgot to put my link of my page properly in the description. But I'm here to show you another great stenciling DIY with essential stencils. And it's all about Valentine's again today, of course, because it's not quite here yet. We've still got another week and a bit, people, to get your lovely signs up and gifts to loved ones and all of that kind of thing. The other part of our live today, which I'm going to show you first and demonstrate first, is decoupaging with napkins. So I'll be showing that and also some of the great little tag gift ideas that you can use with the Essential Stencil mini tag sets, both of them. But first, the awesome news is that we have prizes to give away today and there's a little trick to it, if there's a little catch to it. The more people we get watching the lives, the more prizes will be given away. So I've got to recall what they are um, because I just found out about that this morning, but we're all good. I will find my little message here. There's uh, brushes, there's apron, um, there's a bunch of things <clears throat> for, a fun, for fun prizes. So you know what you get to do is um, share this. So what I'm gonna do is look for my live right here on my laptop. And while you're doing it, you can actually hit the little share button and it'll um, share it to your friends or you could tag someone in it who loves DIY. Let them know that it's live right now. And I'm just gonna do that here now. <clears throat> and share this to my group. So I'm, I Restore Stuff is my business name and basically I paint furniture and do all sorts of fun things with furniture. I even put stencils on furniture. So it's a lot of fun. I'm just gonna grab my, oh, I can share it to my page, I Restore Stuff. And we'll do that now. And you can do the same if you like because I'm just gonna be telling you for a little bit about the awesome offers because all three now usually we do one but all three sets essential stencil let me know today that all three sets that i'm using on this live today will be 20 percent off in the essential stencil shop until midnight tonight so get your valentine stencils hey great chance to even get them in for next year ready for next year because these are long lasting super long lasting they're going to last you a long time so, yep, Essential Stencil has already put that in the comments, so you may have seen that there. Uh, for 250 viewers, giving away a brush set. For 350 viewers, second brush set goes. And for 450 viewers, Essential Stencil apron <coughs> will be given away. So, um, let's see. Let's go. If there's any questions about what I'm doing today, you can always pop them in the comments and we'll try our best to answer them for you. The other thing I wanted to mention too was uh, we do have the supply list of all the products that I'll be using in the live today uh, put all together in a nice neat PDF uh, file and it comes as a supply list which is also linked in the description of this live at the top so later on if, or if you're watching the replay just in the description there's a little link that takes you to a supply list. In fact I might even show you what that looks like right here on my screen. And did you know, so if you click on that, it takes you to this, something that looks like this. Can we see that, Celia? And when you click on the supply list, it's got a list of all the products, but guys, I don't know if you knew this, but each one of those is a clickable link that takes you directly to where you can find it. So there's no need to just go, oh, I can read that, now I have to Google search where I can find that product from. We've made it really easy for you. Some of us ambassadors put our affiliate links in there. So that just gets us a little commission on some of the things that we sell, which, is, which we are affiliates for. So that always helps because we give you so much awesome information and awesome lives. It's really awesome when you do use those links. So let me just show you this for example. Here's the Valentine's truck stencil on the list. If I click that, it opens it up to Essential Stencils page. And look at that, till midnight tonight, 20% off. Isn't that awesome? So that's just a little top tip for you. If you didn't know that those links were actually clickable in the supply list, that one's um, for you today. All right. <clears throat> oh, have we got how many? Oh, yes. Celia's letting me know how many watches we've got there on the live. I'm just going to go so I can read the comments. But 
We're going to be using decoupage today and decoupaging napkins. Let me know in the comments if you've ever done that before. And everyone probably has a different technique of doing things and so I'll just show you mine. And then we'll get into stenciling our beautiful stencils for Valentine's Day. Uh, this is a little example, a bit of an example of what we'll be use, doing. I've done this one earlier so that it's dried and I can do the next step for stenciling. But you can see that this board here is the one I'm going to demo on and it's already painted in just a white colour, an off-white, whatever you want to paint it. It's always good to paint the background but you can do this on raw timber or stained timber as well. So what it does is you can sort of see through the background of the napkin once it's been de decoupaged on you can sort of see through to the white or whatever colour you put underneath it. So if I put a blue under there you would sort of see that blue coming through and it's a really fun way to decorate all sorts of things like furniture, crates, you can put it on the fronts of drawers, things like that. So <clears throat> Yes, everyone's getting their stencil of the month club stencils. I hope you're enjoying those February ones. I designed the February coffee stencils, guys, and I'm super excited to have brought that to you. That was super fun. All right, so when you're choosing napkins for a decoupage like this, so this one kind of, it goes up this way. <clears throat> it's got lovely little Valentine's hearts on it. When you're choosing some napkins, you can get these. I've put in a little affiliate link there for where you can find them. Similar ones on Amazon, not these exact ones, but very similar. Uh, and there's all sorts of different types of napkins that you can buy. But when you're buying them, they'll come with a few different plies, like maybe two or three ply napkins. And um, you just want to look at the design to see that when you open up the napkin that it's all the same it's kind of flowing if you want to use it for a big board like this. I'll show you an example of one, and sometimes you know you can't open up the napkins in the shop to kind of see if it's going to work that way. Uh, but here's one with another one I'm looking at. There's all sorts of fun designs you can find. Look, fall leaves, birthday party sprinkles. This one's got more of a like comic kind of look to it. So this one opens up and it's actually four different squares. So it's not really a repeated pattern. And if I was to put that on a board, you can see how the words on this side are upside down and the words this way are the right way up. So that's because when they make napkins, they are often like that. So you can read the words here. I'm not sure why they do that that way. They don't think about us crafters wanting to <laughs> have things all going up the same way. So that's just one little note that I thought of. Here's another example. This one's of some gorgeous limes. Aren't those colours beautiful? But have a look out there for napkins and there's so many different designs out there. But this one has little words on it that go sort of in a square. So this pattern is repeated here and here and here. And if you were to fold it in half, you can see that it's kind of upside down that way, upside down this way. It probably doesn't matter so much for this one because uh, the words kind of go upside down anyway or around it in a square but you do have that kind of square look rather than a pattern that's repeated all over like this one if that makes sense. So just have a look at your napkins but they're fairly economical to purchase. Napkins are pretty easy to find. So um, there's, I found this cute Easter one. Easter's coming up guys. I think this actually belonged to my mother-in-law and uh, she was, when she got rid of all these things, I grabbed a hold of this. So this one, cute little rabbit, and that one is amazing for decoupage because it doesn't repeat the pattern in squares. It all flows through to the whole napkin. It's got this little border on it, which is kind of nice anyway. If you did a square board, you could fit that over a whole board. Or if I was doing it on this board, you'd actually, it would go off the ends there. But when I'm, I'm going to stencil on top of this Valentine's napkin decoupage. So when I'm stenciling something on top, I don't want it to be too busy and too bold in the colours because then the stencil won't pop or it won't show up on the top as well. So I thought this one just had a nice balance of being a great background for the purpose that I'm going to use it for today. But since I've already done this one, I might demonstrate using just a simple floral kind of pattern. 
242. 242. What do we need for our first prize to go? Oh, I forgot to ask who's picking the prizes, if you are or they are. <laughs> I don't know. Essential Stetzel, you might have to let us know. Um, what do we need? 250. 250 to give away that first prize. 248. <clears throat> There's a little tea set. Oh my goodness, we're there, guys. We are there. <clears throat> Let me just actually do this lime one because I think that's pretty mm -hmm. cute. All right, so when we're doing decoupage, um, this is going to be my demo for the stenciling for Valentine's. So I'm just going to de teach you how to decoupage with the napkins using this one. Now, the lines are on it, but that's okay because they'll all smooth out in the end. <clears throat> yes, guys, there's bonus prizes tonight. <laughs> um, okay, so we have three plies here. If you can see that, there is one, two, three layers to a napkin. We only want the top layer when we're doing the decoupage. So we're just going to really carefully peel that apart. And napkins are usually stuck together with some kind of embossed like stamp or something, you know, like it presses them together with that little pattern all the way around it. Now, even that little um, pattern will disappear once it's on here. So there you go. You've got that top ply. That's the only sheet you need to work with. Have we got anyone saying that they've done this before, decoupaging yep. with lots, napkins? Lots of people have. Of that's people. awesome. And lots of people wanting to try <clears throat> it. So yeah, really that's good. awesome. I'm really good. If you've never tried it before, I'm so glad you're watching today because we're going to be showing you how to do it. All right. So today I'm going to be using Fusion's Transfer and Decoupage Gel. So you can use this for decoupage, which is more um, what we're doing now. Or you can also use it as a transfer gel to transfer images that are printed on paper straight down onto wood and I'll show you that another time. Or you can check out my YouTube channel for a lot of those other um, tutorials as well. Is that in the way or are we good? No, we're good. And somebody said they've decoupaged <coughs> on a basket. Now, oh, that sounds nice. One. Yeah, so I'm not sure whether to centre this because we do have those leaves going over the edge or whether to... You could even cut this up and kind of decoupage in various ways across the sign like that mm. which just will just go all the way across just for the purposes of this live today mm. so I'm turning it over ready to put it on and I've got can she use Mod Podge? yes you can use Mod Podge I was going to say you can use that Mod, Cod, Mod Podge is a great decoupage medium now I want to work fairly quickly with this I find that transfer gel is a little bit thicker then Mod Podge. And um, so you just want a nice thin layer all the way across your board. Can you use um, tissue paper? Yes, you can. Tissue paper is another great idea. Mm -hmm. And okay, let me just come in. I'm having so much The comments trouble. are flying, are they? They are flying. <coughs> I know somebody just said, can we pick the winner for the set? But. Essential stencil, yes. Can they we said we. The first oh, the so we set? need to pick out our first winner okay. for the um, brush set. Do you want to do that? Yes. Let's see. Um, where are we? <laughs> they are flying so fast, guys. Okay, Jen Santiago Nabus. Did I say your name right? Jen Santiago Nabus. Nabus? You are our first winner, and we're going to write that down for our brushes. brush set, stencil brush set. Now, the stencil, br stencil brushes have just come back in. I've heard, guys, so they are ready there, and if you use my code, I restore stuff, you can add them to your cart. You'll get 10% off the whole cart, and don't forget, today only till midnight, you get all the Valentine stencils for 20% off. That is a total of 30% off for those stencils. Okay, so watching carefully, we've got our decoupage medium on there. <clears throat> you can try and centre this and so on. I'm just going to do my best here. Actually, I should be showing you from this side down. <clears throat> All right, just getting the first part on at the beginning here so we can smooth out that there. So we're just smoothing it out. Now you've got to just go really gently because napkins can tear quite easily. But you know what? I do like the rustic 
look. And so we just call it rustic if it tears. It's, um, it's called distressing and don't stress too much if you get wrinkles. But see some of those little bumps that are at the edges of napkins. Look, let's just lay it all down, shall we? And then we're just smoothing out like that. So I'm using Fusions Transfer Gel, and you can see that on the supply list. If you go to the supply list that's in the comments and also up in the description of this video, there's a supply list there, and you can, it'll take you to the Fusion Transfer Gel if you click on those words How of it that. To Mod Podge? Um, it's a little bit thicker, I find, than Mod Podge, so, but it does the same thing. So if you have Mod Podge, by all means, use the Mod Podge. I'm just using what I had on hand. And um, I'm a retailer for Fusion Mineral Paint over here in Australia. So if you're from Australia, you can just jump on my website and get that. Easy peasy. And the iron-on method leaves no wrinkles. Yes, I've heard about the iron-on method, and that's fantastic too. So, all right. So we've got that all placed on there. We just want to make sure there's no lines in the middle from where the napkin folds are. Mm -hmm. So just use your fingers to rub that out. Smoothing it all out. Now the other thing you can do is you could wait till this is dry or you could do it while it's wet. What I've done is I just rub my finger along the side there and you'll see that it easily tears away the tissue paper or the napkin from the edges. And what I want to do on this piece that I've already done earlier is just um, distress those edges with a bit of sandpaper. So I'll show you that in a minute. In a minute. How many people do we have viewing the live right now? We get another, give another prize away when we get up to, what's the next amount? 350 is our next oh. amount of viewers, guys. You're allowed to hit that little S-H-A-R-E button and uh, let your friends know that we are live showing how to decoupage. If you've got a page and you want to share it with your page, if you've got a DIY page. Fusion paint over there. Where are you? In the States? Mm -hmm. Or it, if you look up fusionmineralpaint.com, there's actually a whole list of retailers where to buy it online and where to buy it in store. So that's the edge there. So I just showed you how I've done that while it's wet. And you could even wait for that to dry and just get a little bit of sandpaper and just wipe that you know, rub it along here to get it off the edge. So, don't have a little piece of sandpaper. I'll do the glove, yep. yep. All right, so that's just how to put the decoupage medium on. Wait till that has completely dried before you do the next step or stenciling it on. I'll just show you quickly how to get that off the edge. Just by, and it's still wet, but that's okay. Yeah, thank you guys so much for sprinkling the love. <laughs> oh, you can get it online. Yeah, they've, they've got heaps of retailers that sell it online and it's super quick to ship. So that's better doing it with the sandpaper than it was to take it off with my hands. So you might want to try that. But that's it's, it's decoupaged on there now, ready for a gorgeous like that looks very summery limes just says to me summer lime lime and soda water drinks or something yeah so that will be a nice background for something else that you can put on here later a stencil or whatever here's my piece here's one I've prepared earlier that I'm going to demonstrate for you today I'll just leave that in there okay how many people we got watching guys so as we give another brush set away all right, I can't see on here, so <laughs> you'll have to let me know. Oops. What are we making all together? Okay, we're making a, a Valentine's sign. So what I've done, did this one yesterday because it's given me time for it to dry now. I'm just going to put the lid back on this, throw that in the water. So what I want to do now is just distress this to give it a bit of a distressed look, and then we're going to put our stencil on it. Now today, the stencil that I'm using, it comes from the, it's called the Valentine Truck stencil set so it comes with this gorgeous stencil on the front let me just take them out for you and will you use a top coat before you 
Not before I stencil. Now I'm just going to stencil straight on it and then we can seal it with a top coat afterwards. Let me see if we've got any other. There's bonus prizes, guys, if we get up to some more. What is it? 350 viewers. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's the truck stencil here. Loads of love. This one, guys, is on sale till midnight tonight, 20% off if you use my code, I restore stuff. Add some other things in the cart and those other things will be 10% off. So that's a great deal altogether. This one, this is the one I want to use today and I'm going to be stenciling on top of this and that's going to be a gorgeous Valentine's sign. I'm also going to be using and stenciling on some of these mini tag sets. We've got the Valentine's truck tags, which comes with Love Never Fails. Um, it also comes with 14th of Feb. These make great gift tags, by the way. And I love that Essential Stencil puts these little black separators in because you've seen me with the Christmas tags. I actually make the tags out of these and actually cut the corners off. And it's a great idea to use those. Um, and it also comes with, <clears throat> where's the other one? The truck stencil, of course, with the love hearts, the little hearts inside. So that's that one. And then the other set that's also 20% off till midnight tonight is the Be My Valentine tags. Now these are 3.5 inches by six inches. So they're a decent size. We've got the, does it go that way or this way? You could make it up, honestly. Same, same, right? Um, kisses and hugs. And you've got the Be My Valentine. And you've also got I love you to the moon and back. Aren't they sweet? So that's a three pack. So both of those three packs of the mini tags are all on sale till midnight tonight, 20% off. And I'll be using those just a minute to show you how you can combine them and add them together. So what I'm gonna do now, I've got a little sanding glove here. This one's, I haven't got it on the supply list, but it's available in Australia. It's not in the US. I'm just gonna distress the edges of this since uh, the napkin that I did yesterday. So remember you do this, I always do it on a painted backboard. So the back of the background is painted. Just making sure. Yes, guys, there's lots of people saying they need the brushes. So um, got to get up to a certain amount of viewers. Share, share, share. Share the love, sprinkle the love, guys. So I'm going to, this board actually ha is made up of three slats or um, pieces that I've just screwed together and I'm just distressing where that line is you know so it gives a little bit of a worn look right across there where that line is just for some added I don't know antique -y look so we've also got the edge here of where the napkin finished because it was square and it kind of my boards wider than it is longer <coughs> So when you're choosing a board, just choose one that is a similar size to what the stencils. Now this stencil set that I'm using today is 12 inches by 16 inches, which is pretty standard essential stencil size. So I'm just distressing to just give a little bit of wear and worn aged look to the napkin. And where in Australia did we get the buff? Um, on my website, irestorestuff.com. So if you're in Australia, you can yeah, get it there. So sandyhands.com is where you can find all the retailers. They're available in the UK as well. All right, so just distressing that a bit there. And again, you can see this line along here where the napkin has finished. I just want to kind of distress that a little bit to take away the line feature and add a little bit of wear and tear to it, give it an aged look. Now to this you could also add some antiquing glaze to give it an old weathered look also. I actually went live uh, with Fusion Mineral Paint on their page on Saturday or Friday night your time and shared how to use those glazes. The clear glaze, mix it with paint. I've done that on here before too. Lots of fun. All right. So just giving that a little bit of a distressed look. <clears throat> Can't tell probably as much, but 
<clears throat> okay, how are we going with those views, guys? We're going to want to give away another prize, so please let people know that we're on here and we'll be giving away another set of stencil brushes. So I'm now centering my stencil. Now I can't put down tape on the edges here, so I'm just going to have to be really careful with my hands, using my hands to hold it still so that I can... so that I don't, can't, don't have any movement. Such. Now, who can tell me in the comments what's the key to a good stenciling? You guys should know by now. <coughs> it's, someone's gonna say it, someone's gonna say it. What do we need to do to our brushes? And some of you use the makeup sponges. That's awesome. Everyone's got their different, yeah, there they go. Look, like crazy, yeah. offload, offload, offload. Yeah. You guys know, you guys are getting good. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. And don't forget about the Stencil of the Month Club, guys. Such a great value. Stencils mm -hmm. delivered to your door every month. Different set every month. Some of them have been designed by us ambassadors, which has been heaps of fun mm -hmm. and um, they're getting ready to let people know what their March ones are going to be. Whoo, that's exciting. So if you use my code iRestoreStuff and you want to join the Stencil of the Month Club, you can get $5 off your first month. Right, I'll start with the words up here. Now, I could add, you know, change some colours up and make the bicycle a different colour, but because I've got such a colourful background, I'm just going to use, <coughs> excuse me, uh, black. So I'm just using Fusion Mineral Paint. You can just use any acrylic paint. I've offloaded my brush here and I'm just going to give it light little swirls around. And the reason I'm hopefully not going to get any bleeding underneath the stencil is because of that offloading. Because I've offloaded as much as I could to the, on the newspaper. Why have you not secured your stencil? Oh my. Um, so the question was, why have I not secured my stencil? I don't have any room to put tape around the sides. And because I'm just going lightly, and I've done this a lot of, many times, I just hold it very, very still, and it's not going anywhere. Um, so practice on some cardboard, practice on some paper, until you get your stenciling techniques down pat. That's looking great. And if it did move, you just can put it back in the right place. But I work with my hand down where I'm working. So at the moment, and it's kind of hard to see where the lines are until I actually paint it in black and fill it in to get those bicycle lines in. Add some more paint on the brush. Offload, offload, offload. You guys are great. Is there any more? <laughs> Someone, Jan says, I would never trust myself. <clears throat> And the napkin seems to have hardened and there's no ripping. That's correct because this one was paint, um, placed on yesterday and allowed to completely dry. So there's, you know, I did the sanding. If you saw that part, I sanded it really well and it didn't move. So it's completely hardened and dried because the decoupage medium, whether you use Mod Podge or the mm. Fusions Transfer Gel and Decoupage product, it will... Um, dry hard so it fuses the napkin to the surface and it's not going anywhere there we go. what brush are you using i'm using a klingon r14 it's just a round brush that i've tied a little um, rubber band to um, but guys we're giving away stencil brushes right here if we can get up to 350 viewers <laughs> how are we going with that <coughs> Going great, guys. Oh. Can you mod Oops. podge fabric? Yes. Can you mod podge fabric? I believe you can. How long does it take? <coughs> Excuse dry? me. Depends on your weather. It's just like paint, so um, it'll dry in a few hours, depending on the weather. If it's raining like it is here today, I just let mine dry overnight, so 12 hours is good. But realistically, if it's a really high drop, dry high drop dry hot day then it will probably take far less and you could be doing this in a couple of hours within a couple of hours 
Okay, you can see the bicycle starting to take shape here. I'm doing a little swirly method. Does anyone, let me know in the comments, do you like to pounce like this or do you prefer to do the swirling thing? If I've offloaded the brush plenty, it actually works better for me to swirl it on. So that's why I encourage you guys to practice on some cardboard until you've found the really the best way that leaves the least amount of bleeding. And totally it's um it's totally up to you how you do your method. Did you need to clean the surface after <coughs> sanding? Yeah, probably should have. Did I not do that? I don't think I did. Blew the dust I did blow the dust off, but I probably should have just wiped it. I would have just wiped it with a cloth or a rag. Yeah, but that's the better idea so that you don't have little dust particles and make your stencil not work properly. Nice pickup, guys. Mm -hmm. See, we do make mistakes on these lives. <laughs> You're helping me out here. Did so someone does the pouncing. Yep. Mm -hmm. I sometimes pounce, but then I swirl. If you've got a little bit more on your brush, it's probably better to do the pouncing. But because I have hardly any, it really gives a nice coverage to yeah. do that swirling. Some people swirl to the right and then swirl to the left. And I gather you're called Swizzlers. <laughs> swirling to the right and swirling to the left. And then pounce. Mm -hmm. All right. Need a bit more on my brush. But really, you don't need very much on your brush at all. And offloading is the biggest key. Mm. How's our viewers going? Can we give away another prize yet? Not till we get to 350 viewers, guys. Woo, we're getting so close. Yeah. <coughs> hmm. It's just stopped raining. Yay. So Essential Stencil will let us know when we're up to that. Mm -hmm. And we'll pick another winner. You guys are amazing. I hope you're enjoying this today. I've, I want to also just show you quickly a couple of super quick um, stencils using the mini tag sets. Good so question. I'm going to pounce this in here. Yep, there's another question. If you offload a light coloured paint onto the newspaper, mm -hmm. does the newspaper ink rub off onto your brush? Probably. Um, you could use, you could, sorry, if the the question was, if you uh, do a light colour paint and you're offloading onto newspaper, will the newspaper print get onto the brush? Probably so. So you can use brown paper or white paper or I've seen Grace uses alfoil. Mm. So pick your favourite thing to use. I just use newspaper because it's free that comes in on the driveway and I mm -hmm. am recycling, repurposing, reusing. Mm -hmm. well, gotta love that. All right, guys, I think we're finished. Are you ready for the big reveal? How many views have we got yet? 307. 307. We're getting there, guys. The more we get, the more prizes we can give away. When we get to 350 viewers, we can give away some more stencil brushes. So if that's you and you need stencil brushes, jump out there and share and tell your friends. All right, ready. Ta-da. Not too bad. So there we go. Let's go on adventures together. So there's the idea, you can just grab a stencil that's going to really pop on a background. Um, you know, if you wanted to, choose a napkin that's got a lighter colour for patterns and things. There's one that's kind of got a lighter, lighter colours that may not be so busy. But I loved this one because it's got cute little hearts on it. And um, that's that one. I just wanted to show you next, because these are included in the bonus sale till midnight tonight the mini tag sets that i shared with you before oh they're all here one abby says can she sign her puppies in on her ipad will that count <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and do that i'm sure it will count and it'll show as another viewer <laughs> that's a um so who was that uh, abby abby said can she sign her puppies in on her ipad abby of course you can your puppies need to see this diy they need to see our valentine's tutorial tonight so please go and sign your puppies in on so your ipad cute, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh that's an, an incredible fun idea yeah. all right so i had these so sorted before on what i was going to do and i can't remember what it was be my valentine, love you to the moon and back. I think I like this idea. So you can mix and match. If you get the two mini tag sets, mm -hmm. you can mix, mix and match them both together. I think I like this. 
with mm. that. And what was the other one? Be My Valentine, mm -hmm. Feb 14th. What do you think? Yeah, I like So I'm going to need a white colour uh, for that. Oh, I've got that lamp white there. I'll use that one. And we've got, <clears throat> as long as that's out of the way, Love You to the Moon and Back. We can fit both of those there. And I'll just use this black one on this one first. So we've got a dark going on here. Oh, do I, can you get a red for me, please, Celia? And I'll do these little hearts in red and show you how we can take those off. <clears throat> Yep, that's perfect. Okay, so I've just used these. The background is just something I actually did on a, a live over on my iRestore Stuff page uh, on Saturday or Friday night. And so you can go on my page to see how I glazed that to get that kind of finish on that background of that there. And so we're going to tape these down. I don't want that hole to be stenciled on my stencil. So I'm just trying to center these two things. And I'll put a tape right there where the hole is. And I can also add tape to the sides on here. Thank you. Okay, guys. We, want to, we really want to give away another brush set. So please sign your puppies in. <laughs> Tell your friends <coughs> that we are live right now. Um, and you could win a prize of stencil brushes which are back in stock on st essential stencil site all right excuse me while I... on the finished board? Uh, no i didn't i put some glaze on there so it's okay if i do this on top of that and what i want to do is tape around where this heart is because i'm going the hearts are because i'm going to do those in red i think we'll be able to just put some mm. tape right there hopefully that covers it's a little tricky i'm gonna to have to get some more tape to finish off that edge there all right let me know where you're coming from too if you're watching from um the usa or canada or hey mexico or brazil or the UK, let us know in the comments. If you're from Australia, woohoo, that's where I'm from, all the way over here down under, where it's absolutely raining this last couple of days. And if you've heard about the fires down here in Australia, we are so appreciating the rain everywhere right now, wherever it is. There are still fires burning further down south in our country. So yeah, we're hoping that the rain is reaching those guys. I've offloaded now. Just using that same black brush that I did for this stencil. Mm -hmm. Watch how super quick this is. Now I've got to be careful because that stencil here is coming underneath here. So I'm going to have to lift that up to get that. Didn't think about that now, did I? So I'll just have to move this for a minute. But because I've got this, ooh, we're stuck. Because I've got it taped on this end, it's not going anywhere. So there we go making sure I've got all of the surfaces covered. Offloading. Mm -hmm. <coughs> How do you clean your stencils? How do you clean your brushes? How do I clean my stencils? Well, sometimes if I've left it too long to wash them before, I'd, before they, um, and they dry too quickly, then I don't bother. <laughs> but you can just wipe them off immediately with a wet cloth run them underwater just get use something really gentle though a little gentle scour don't do anything that's too um too rough because abrasive yeah because there are little tiny bridges in these letters that you don't want to ruin or damage so here we go we're just going to pop that over there <coughs> and again i'll just cover that hole that's in the middle here Oh, there's people from Vegas, Colorado. Yeah, very fast. And someone says I'm very fast at stenciling and she's amazed at how quick I'm doing it. I've had a lot of practice, but really the, the method that I use, it seems to work really well for me to just mm. offload and then quickly swirl it all around. So we've got the little truck 
that's carrying loads and loads of hearts for Valentine's. Hey guys, I've got something to tell you. I want to do a quick shout out. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. And I want you to shout out with me. Um, it's someone's birthday today. Well, today in Australia, maybe tomorrow in the USA. So owners of Essential Stencil, Ramon and Jessica, it's Ramon's birthday today and his twin brother, Ruben, who also works for Essential Stencils. These guys are amazing and they are the team behind, they're probably watching this going, what is she doing right now? Um, they're all ears. I want everyone to give them a massive happy birthday shout out, Ramon and Ruben. Happy birthday to you guys and thanks for all you do to bring us amazing stuff, amazing stencils here at Essential Stencil. Yeah. So happy birthday to you, Woo. guys. Yes, guys, they're twins, they're brothers. Yeah. How's that? Amazing. I'm letting all the secrets out today. <laughs> I hope they don't mind. <laughs> All right, so we need to leave that truck down, but that's it there. It's come out really nicely. Have we got, yes, look at that. Lots of birthday wishes there in the comments. Um, I'm gonna t now remove this tape where the hearts is and place it over where the truck is. And hopefully you should probably wait until the truck is dry. But we like to but I'm just going to live on the edge, guys. What I'm going to do is, is um, lay it down on here so it's not got as much tack and stickiness to it. And that'll still cover it and stick slightly rather than pulling paint off. All right? So that's my method. Hope you One of the ladies said that she drives around looking, for, looking at all the wood and looking oh. for wood on the side of the road. There's someone who drives around looking for wood on the side of the road. That's a great idea. That's so me. Yeah. I okay, again, I'll just show you that. You can do it on your clothes too. I've just got some tape and to make it not so sticky and tacky so that it doesn't rip off the paint, I'm just putting it on my shirt and it gets a little bit of fuzz on it so that it doesn't stick too hard onto here. Now, my laptop is about to run out of battery, but that's okay. Hmm. All right, so this one I'm going to, the phone's okay. We've, we're still gonna be live, don't you worry. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit of red to this. Is there a smaller brush? I'll use the smaller one for this red. And I'm just using, this is Fusion's cranberry color, which is a nice vintage red. Cranberry. But if you've got red in your stockpile at home, red paint, go ahead and use it. All right, red hearts. We've got to have red hearts for Valentine's. Mm. Or pink, whatever you like. Look at all those birthday shout outs, that's awesome. Yeah, I do love the cranberry too. Mm. <clears throat> yes, everyone's looking for wood on the sides of the roads. Mm -hmm. It's a great idea, recycle it. If people are getting rid of it, give it to me. That's what I say. All right, let's see how that worked out. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's a cute little sign that you can add to your mantle or these are just tiny little signs that you can use the two minis, the mini, mini tag sets for uh, to just add a little bit of bling to your Valentine's decor. So I'm just going to add a little white and have we got enough viewers to do another prize no. yet? Oh guys, oh what a shame. Yeah. Guys, guys, guys. We have using lamp white now, just using a white color. I'm gonna flip my newspaper over. So the, the question was asked before, is the color gonna transfer from the newspaper onto my white? And it doesn't when I do it, but I would, that's one thing that I would be very careful of. Again, if you're wanting to tape it down, go ahead and do that. See, I'm just putting my February 14th on a little bit of an angle, just for something fun. Let's not always have to be straight, are you a straight and neat and perfect person? Let me know in the comments or are you, yeah, let's just um, be a little creative and get a little bit wild and go a little bit crooked sometimes. Crooked st can still look amazing. Mm -hmm. So this is on a dark background, so I'm using a white. Always use a contrasting color for your stenciling. I've offloaded my white. Let's go February 14th. Where can they find the wood that you painted the tags on? This is, honestly, I just got it at a craft shop. It's just MDF. They were already pre-cut. So many craft stores just have little 
wood signs and wood things that you can um, mm. grab really cheaply. And you know what? I honestly found these at our, in Australia we call them op shops. It's just our charity store, store our local nice. thrift store had a whole bunch of these that some crafter was like, you know what? I don't know what to do with these. And so they went really cheap. So th thrift stores and craft stores are a great place mm -hmm. to look for little wood signs like this, as well as on the side of the road, Ooh, yeah. as you guys are doing. Great job recycling, repurposing, mm -hmm. you know, it's um, so good to be able to kind of look after the earth and look after our environment by reusing some of those things that people would just throw away. So some crafters junk was my treasure in this case. Alrighty guys, so here's our mini tag set. I was gonna do some extra dings on this, wasn't I? But yeah. never mind. It's got a little bit of rustic charm to it, this piece, because it had a few little scratches and dings on here and I was gonna kind of even it up a bit. But see how we've just used two different tags from two different mini tag sets to combine and create a lovely little sign with. So February 14th, be my Valentine. Pop that up around the house somewhere, leave it lying on a mantle, um, or stick it to the bed head, I don't know. <laughs> You'll find something. I'm sure you're gonna come up with some amazing ideas in the comments there. But there's our sign projects for today. Don't forget that you can get all of these supplies using the supply list that will be in the description of the live and you'll find that when you open the list you can click on each of those links where it tells you exactly where to get it from you can also down the bottom of the supply list it'll tell you do you want to follow sharon it'll take you to my facebook page um, here's sharon's favorite stencils from essential stencil click on that and it'll take you to a page that opens up and shows you all my favorite stencils from essential stencil and of course today remember all of these the mini tag sets both of them and the valentine truck happy valentine's day loads of love with the let's go what let's go adventures on adventures together 20 percent off on top of the 10 percent off you get from using my i restore stuff code so that's that one that we did earlier today if you have missed the beginning we created this stencil set um, and so that is all we've got for the live today. And I don't think, is that it, Celia? Uh, my little computer has jumped off. So did the essential say anything else about? Nope. nope. All right. Good. So we are good to go, guys. Don't forget, click on the links. It'll tell you and join the Stencil of the Month Club because we are having some fun in there and you'll get $5 off your first month if you use iRestore Stuff code. Thanks, guys, for watching today. And I will see you next week when it will be nearly my birthday. Okay, what are these ones? Winners. For the three, the three I don't know we're doing giveaways. We're just doing the giveaways from, the but we will let you know. If there are any more giveaways, I'll let you know in the comments. Love you guys. See you next week. It'll be almost Valentine's Day and nearly my birthday. Thank you. Woohoo. See Bye. ya.